Okay, so uh, I would like to start today's video if my guinea pigs would like to stop screaming. But I'm going to be finishing the, this color, Freddy, and um, trying to remember all the Five Nights at Freddy's lore from memory in honor of the trailer that came out. So, um, if you didn't know that two trailers came out for Five Nights at Freddy's, that has to do with, um, the movie and the free DLC, um, I'm really excited because we got Pia from Hunger Games and um, Scooby-Doo playing the main characters, Michael Afton and William Afton. Um, uh, Michael Afton is the night guard and William Afton is the killer or spring trap or aka purple guy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's two different theories about some people who agree with what came first, but I believe it all started when um, at Fred Bear's Diner, I think it was called. When crying child was his head was bitten after his older brother Michael left him, shoved him into the animatronic spring lock suit and the spring lock, which will clamp down when exposed to moisture, clamp down on the crying child's head and killed him. Which was the bite of eighty seven. Now, you would think, like, nobody would ever want to go to anything like that related again, but, like, I don't know, because it was the 80s and people were like, stupid. Um, I mean, no offense to anybody from the 80s, born in the 80s, grew up in the 80s. I think the 80s are pretty cool, but, like, I mean, I guess at one point y'all were going to kill animatronic restaurants. So, um... I gotta look at some of these colors. I kind of forget. I know there's a blue, but um, Glam Rock Freddy. I bless you. Love Glam Rock Freddy. He is so adorable. Okay, his thing is blue. Wow, there's not a lot of what you call it going on here. I so okay. I was about to say because I was this. There's a picture. That's not red around there, it's just blue. But I know there was red around there. I know, I know there was red. Anyways, I think that's all the red for now. Yeah, that's all the red. I accidentally made him too dark because I only have two browns. Um, and I don't feel like using my really expensive markers for it, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, all that happens, this guy um, goes crazy and he but William Afton goes crazy. He was oh, killing these kids, and he makes this killer animatronic that accidentally kills his daughter. And then he sends his son to go get her soul. And he gets what's called scooped by the animatronic. You think he's him? It's so sad because I love Michael Afton. But he. Michael Afton's like basically determined to end his father killings even though he's dead um because he gets stuck in a spring lock suit this is a very terrible summary so i'm like praying to god that everybody who's watching this knows the lore if not you can watch five million hours of map pat um we're being theorists his his claws are blue that's so cool um that's basically the summary, I think. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was obsessed as a kid. Like, completely in love, obsessed. My favorite character was Foxy. Um, and I'll admit something. When I was 11 years old, I was on Wattpad making fanfics. And I just wanna add, 
I was 11 years old, okay? I'm allowed to do those things when I'm young because I was learning. And I ended up finding out that I was a really good writer because of that. Um, my story got really popular online. Um, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Bless you. Um, I think I got like almost 50,000 views. I've taken it down since then. But reading it and knowing that I started at 11 years old, the writing isn't even actually that bad. Which is a lot to say from someone like when you grow up, you're like, oh god, I can't believe I did that, you know? But I'm not like crazy mad about it, you know? I feel like I should do another angle for this. I, I think that's a lot better. I think that's a lot better. Um, but at the time, I didn't know. I didn't know I was a word because back then, you know, we didn't know much. Because it starts off with Black Panther Phase 1, which is actually the second, but not the second. Like the third or fourth location, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, Black Mesa Freddy's 2, that location is actually first. Um, and then they bring back the old animatronics. Um, and that's, you know, where Black Mesa Freddy's 1 starts. But it was a bit confusing, so I can't really remember all of it. Um, but I basically made it like, you know, Michael had history there, not knowing that he would have been the, the son of all of this, you know? Um, and after, after, you know, um, Michael gets scooped by the animatronics and quote unquote dies. Um, he actually lives kind of as an animatronic, like half high, like high res, like half animatronic, half human. Um, and he's tested, like he's determined to stop his father, so he goes and he hits up his old business partner. His daughter was killed by one of the It's like, hey, let's wrap this up. And that's exactly what they do. They um they trap all the animatronics, including William Afton as them trap. And they kill them all. Which was Pizza Simulator. Um but then somehow he comes back. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't really pay that much attention. I haven't finished Michael Player's videos for um Fire Freddy's security breach. I know a little bit about it. Like I've watched, I think I'm on like part nine, but never ever got the actual true, true ending of it. Um, I know that he comes back, but I don't know, and I know that he gets, he dies like in a fire or something, or gets hit by like a bunch of animatronics, but there's some new DLC coming out with a girl named Cassie who's supposed to be helping Gregory. But is it like the Cassie that dies in Golden Freddy? Or is it like a whole new person um, who knows? But Gregory must have been there for quite some time because there's like trees growing in the um, apparently I don't have black, I don't know how that is. I hope you have black in here. Let's check it out. That's not black, that's brown. That's blue. That's white. That's green. That's... That is black. Okay. Um... But... I mean, really, who knows? Oh my god, these feel so much better than... The other ones. I actually like this one more, but I'm not gonna use these ones because these are my quote unquote professional ones. Oh god, these feel so nice. Um, 
so we have those two. I think the DLC is called Fiend. Um, basically, you have to like save Gregory, which I am a bit confused about because I thought Gregory escaped. Maybe he didn't. Maybe you know, a lot of people theorize that he's actually dead. You know, that he's actually crying child as a robot, you know, like all stuff like that. And I'm really, really reflecting today just how much, how much you could get away with like theorizing, like and thinking about, like it's really just a brain twister. It's not, it's not um, popular because it's good. It's just popular because it's something about really terrible horror movies and horror things. Something about this is really nice. But there's also like that nostalgic pull to it from being a kid. I remember I couldn't walk in the hallway right for a long time. I wouldn't go out of my room at night. I thought Foxy was under my bed. My brother couldn't pee right because he thought Foxy was in the shower. So he would pee at the toilet sideways so he could keep an eye on the shower. But like, I don't mind all that stuff. I don't mind. Memories, I guess. I think do flat for one more part, and I'm also gonna throw the pencil at the same time because I'm good like that. Um, I don't know, I just I love it so much. Ever since I was a kid, there was a period though that I wasn't into it that much, and that that was about the time when the 2015, I'd say, when the fourth when the fourth game came out, and we were told that it was ending. That was about the time that I stopped paying attention because I thought that was the end. But then apparently Sister's Location came out, and after Sister's Location was, um, I think it's D-Hype. After Sister's Location was Pizza Simulator, um, those came out and I had no idea, but I guess it was kind of, it was kind of fun to get back into it because I had so much content to catch up on and for me it was like actually scary because hear me out on this, hear me out there is someone out in this world and I know, I know because even Spock called on the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's Nose because um he refuses to make a real life Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant for this reason there is someone out there crazy enough to pull off a stunt like that. 100%. There are unfortunately a lot of people willing to do terrible things like that. But I could totally see some guy dressing up in a costume and trying to hurt children. My mom says the same about Michael Myers, is why she's scared of him, is because, um, like, someone could be crazy enough to put on a mask and just go around, like, hurting people, taking their lives and stuff. Um, so, I guess it's just a matter of, like, I don't know. Realizing that it's actually not true, that I shouldn't be that scared, but I am. His eyes are like light blue. Or like a darker blue than his... Yeah, they're like a darker blue. Oh, that's a nice blue. I have to do the brown now. I'm not really happy about because brown isn't a very fun color to color in with. What are the what are the colors of his the paws on his the pads on his paw? I believe this is the one I was using. 
um, let's test it out here. No, that is in fact not the one I was using. That's so scary. This one was the one I was using. Yes. Okay, let's try the first one. This pencil sharper is amazing. I think we got I got it at Walmart for like five dollars. And it's it like switches if you want it to be bigger or the skinnier one. And it just holds everything. It's so cool. And it opens from the side instead of from the bottom. Oh, we have to look at the picture again. Okay. So Um, that's basically the bottom line of it. There's so much more. There's so, so much. Like, the five children, more about the grandchild, Elizabeth, circus baby, who's actually right here. Um, I was kind of scared of her when I saw her. But no, the one who really scared me the most was Ennard. He is so, so disturbing looking, and he's just, I don't know, something about him is just, it's just a no, it's a no for me, it's definitely a no for me. The, um, the endoskeletons, um, those always creep me out too, but the endoskeletons moving, and um, security breach that was just that was just a lot for me that was pretty scary well not like actually scary but like kind of off-putting I guess like I just don't like the fact that they look like that oh I remember why I didn't cover those in okay so I think that's all in terms of his brown I think now it's just like that light brown that I probably should have used since the beginning. Which I'm gonna use this color. Yeah. Where did oh it's over here? <laughs> Apparently in the game files, um, Grandma Freddy is actually supposed to betray you at the end and try to hurt you, but they changed the game to him being friendly, which I like a lot. I think it's nice to have a friend in the game that would help you out compared to all the other games. And it was just like running away from really scary things all the time. I I miss Bonnie and Foxy, don't get me wrong, especially because Foxy is my favorite. But I must say, in my opinion, they did a really good job at replacing the characters and making them lovable. It's really hard to do that with a franchise as big and as beloved as Fast and Furious because a lot of people have had these favorite characters for so long. I want to know what the bottom of his feet look like. And not in a weird way. But like just in effect, like what color is that supposed to be? And there's not a single picture of the bottom of his feet. Wait. No, when you take them apart. What's that called? What's that called? Um full body. When he was in the Oh my god, what was it called? When he's being repaired for the upgrade. He was laying down. Is that Freddy with a gun? <laughs> Upgrade. I know. I'm about to make them blue. Just straight up. Um. These are all ads. Why? Why do you have to have so many ads and not actual pictures of Freddy? Um. 
I guess we'll just do the most, which is color them in. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to find it. Is he supposed to say move his head and stuff, I think? Or move his head if he's laying there and you need to walk up to him. Oh, you guys aren't looks scared of him. I found a picture, but it doesn't show what the color is. There is no poppy. What? Those don't even exist in this picture. That's ridiculous. I'll just color them in one color because I'm not gonna stress myself out about it anyway. I would never to find out that they are just not ex non existent. I got this is a lot faster than I thought I was. I've always loved coloring in since I was little. It's actually what kick started me to start like drawing and stuff. I want a it was like Sesame Street coloring newsbook contest thing and if you did it you won i don't remember what you would, would win but i won one year and it was i think you like won tickets to see something but i never went i think my mom just didn't want to go but i think it was cooler that i won than actually going in my opinion Probably one of the two dollars pretty sure I like it. Um, I mean, I don't think the coolest kids have ever were like years old. We're huge fans of Friday the Freddy's. I mean, you're cool now, but... I miss when TikTok had the trending for... The trending stuff for Friday the Freddy's was huge at the came out. But I was not a fan of everything. I've always loved Five Nights at Freddy's and I was like, I don't remember you being a fan. In 2014, when you made fun of me, I don't want to hear it. I know who you actually are. I really don't care about new fans though. I really would welcome, welcome them if they wanted to come in. Um... I mean, I was an fan at one point for a lot of different things, like, I was late for my hair academia, but I don't, I know a lot of people say that my hair academia fan was really bad, and I'm, I've seen some stuff, but in my personal, like, I don't know if I'm just lucky, but in my personal experience, I've never run into a weird fan. Like, I've seen them pop up on my social media and stuff, but I've never met one. Which I guess I just have to be grateful for. I've, some, I've heard of some horror stories. Okay. Um. His bottom jaw. And his little bare cheeks. Are also It's time. I just gotta do his fingers now. This requires a lot of concentration not to go out of the lines. Because the lines are so thin. There we go. We finished part of the Freddy. 
so I know that I said I was just to be summarize these um little lore and stuff but I guess I sucked at that and just started rambling anyways but regardless I hope you enjoyed this video so thank you bye